Go. Okay, you join us live from PNR. Uh, it's a nighttime operation. Uh, yep. uh, we're moving people into place. Uh, lots of us are holding the gate. Security guards are holding the gate. There's no risk of us going in. Police cars are about. Uh, there's a lock on in progress. Genius. Well done. Well done. Well done, guys. Brilliant work. Excellent. Comfy? No, of course not. That's a ridiculous idea. Uh, my sleeping bag is around somewhere. We'll, we'll go and get all your stuff in a second. We'll get everyone into place first. So that's two here. Okay. Just checking everyone's in place. Got time. You ready? Got time. You on? No. Am I on? Yes. Who's in the Back here, back here. Keep going. Alright, so security guards are looking to. Sorry, sweetie. That's alright, that's good, that's good. Just find the back end, it's all good. All's good. All good. You just do your job, we'll do ours. It doesn't have to be impolite. Good, good stuff. I'm fucking, just fucking genius. Well done, you. Well done, guys. Okay. I'm here. Oh, um, she's over here, love. Where Julie is, I think. Is that... Claire and yeah, I'm here. Claire, not Claire. Gina. G Gina, where's Gina? Um, down there. Is this for Gina? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's. Oh, over there. Okay. Right. So, just to update, we're at Preston New Road. We're live, and uh, there's an action taking place. Remembering that July is the month of everyday direct actions. We have a tower. Hey, listen. You know, later on, when I get moved from here, can I get up there for live streaming later? How would I get up? No. I don't know. Can't I just clamour? No? Bastards. Be the angle. Okay. So, you see the scene. Lots of people about. We're all ready. Uh, the joy is we have videographers, cameramen. Police are about in one van. But they're not bothering us at the moment. I expect they will in a minute, but there's not much they can do. We have two locked on here, just checking the welfare. Everyone okay? Not today! Just trying, trying to the to the police to get rid of the no, 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 Okay. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Hello. Comfy. So, you want to just tell me quickly, why why is this lock on special, Michelle? Well, don't want the fracking. I've got, you know, of course, I live locally. That's in, And yeah. I've got my children and my grandchildren to think of, and I'm looking out for their futures. So the operation that we're taking part in now, it's been a while in the planning. We've been in a few meetings together. And the purpose of it was to get local people. And how many are we, do you think? I'm not sure. I think it's about 12, isn't it? About 12. About 12 locked on. And, uh, yeah, so you're prepared for the long haul? Oh, yes. Yeah. How hard is this for you to do? At the minute, pretty hard. I'm yeah. just bringing the other wheelchair through in a second. Yeah. Like Where's your husband? Because she's disabled. <laughs> How good. And is he going to be your carer for the... He'll stay and care for you? Yeah. Yeah. We've got, got you nice little welfare packs and lunch boxes, so we'll be back with that. Has Julie collected any medication from you? No. Yeah. Julie will collect. My oh. partner's got Oh, of course medication. he's got yours. That's good. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's it. I was looking for people. Hello. This is, hello, hello. how are you? So Come the reason right. for today is it's local people and you're, so I'm going to do names because okay. we're all saying who we are. So yeah, this is yeah. Miranda, who everybody knows. Miranda's now locked onto the tube and at the other end is another person. Radio, well done. Thank you. Well done. Music as well, eh? Oh, brilliant, thank you. <laughs> I thought I to be talking. Is it radio music? <laughs> Did you think I, was I thought it was a walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, I can't get received. I've got delirious. Uh, how are you? You alright? Good, thank you. This is your first there. time, isn't it? It is. I've never done anything like this before. What was it like in your tummy when you were planning for this to come tonight? Um, how did you feel? Like nervous but really excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
really interesting seeing it all come together. Yeah, I, I suppose the good part is that it's at least you, you, you're doing something productive that actually feels like it makes a difference. Definitely, yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, because I think a lot of the days on the site when we're, we're here and we're, we're so frustrated, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we're pleading for slow walks yeah. or something and we're just not getting anything. Yeah, you know, yeah. Here we are. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Really proud of you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, well, Tina. I thought I'm on live. Whisper. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, live stream also from Frank Roberts. If you go lose mine. Right, you two. Hello. Hi, Tina. How you doing? I'm okay, thank you. So, what else is special about tonight? I've said that I'm trying to get your light on you. There we go. Um, tonight we've got not just local people. What else is specific? Oh, it's all right, Tiggs. John's got it. We've got three of you who are councillors, don't yes, we? Yes, you are. Yeah. So why do you think that matters to us, Julie? Because we said no. Yeah. And what difference does it make, though, that it's councillors? Is it because it carries more risk for you, like with regard to your job and your community standing? Do you think? Perhaps. Do you worry about that? No, I, I just think it's a big step. Yeah, yeah. Big step. Yeah, I think it's essential. Yeah. And I think unless our people who are hold office hold account as well, yeah. then, you know, are you sort of, oh, great stuff, okay. How you doing, sweetheart? Got your nap. Hey, at least you might get a nap. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have one. This is Nick. Hello. And I've not got much light on your face, so there's no worries about that. I'll come back when it is lighter. I look tired. You are, Nick's here, he looks tired, but you can't see that in the dark. And how are you feeling? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, sweetheart. Yeah, comfy. Yeah, we got you some nice lunch boxes. Oh, brilliant! Oh, God, I forgot my sandwiches. Ah, you'll be going with humus and tomato then. Has anyone picked any oh, no, I'll be going bloody hungry. <laughs> okay, we've got you a couple of bottles of water and some fruit as well. All right. Okay, so I'm just coming over to everybody now. So, morning. 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 Have you done this before? Uh, I have. Yeah. yeah. Well, but since Preston New Road, had you done it before Preston New Road at all? Never since before this, no. No. So, never. did you ever actually do activism like that sort of thing? Nope, I've never had the need to do until I found no. out about this. Yeah, yeah. And so how does it feel? What's it, what changes in you that you do this sort of Got thing now? Got to stop it. Yeah. It's that simple. Got to stop it. Yeah. It's so it's a filthy it's industry. But it's all regulated. It's not safe. We've just got to stop it. Yeah, yeah. So, but it takes quite a lot, though, for a woman to sit and put her arm in this barrel of huge weight and accept that you're going to have, what, anything from 8 to 17 hours, maybe, yeah. in this position. Yeah. So how do you prepare for that? Uh, it's got to be done. If you don't sit here, then the rig's coming in and yeah. the equipment's coming in, so there's no choice. It's got to be done. The gates yeah. have got to be closed. It's that simple. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Right. You two reprobates. I've got a funny feeling you're going to be in my comedy corner. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like how you're, I like her, the, the prettiness of your lock on. It's possibly prettier than everybody else's. <laughs> so, Martin, morning. Morning, my dear. Okay, we're just chatting through the fact that, like, it's, it's special this morning because it's locals, and that's mm -hmm. important, and three councillors. And, and what do you think it says about our community? Or, and what, have you done this before? Absolutely not. No. So uh, tell us about what it's like for you and, and why you're doing it and what makes today different. Well, I think it's a pretty poor good job, good job. state when people like us resort to this. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, everyone says that. But when you feel moved to do something like this, because it's one thing allowing yourself to feel powerless. Yeah. Um, it's another thing when you decide, actually, no, I'm not powerless. I do yeah. have a voice, yeah. and I can put myself on the line on behalf of many other people who would like to. Yeah. And that really, it's, you know, sounds corny, but you're yeah. not just doing it for yourself. No, absolutely. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think there was a, um, a study done once that said, um, they studied how many people actually actively protest, but how many people each of those people represents who can't be there but wish they were. And they reckon absolutely. that for every person there's at least 80. Oh, who, who wish? Minimum. But I, I mean, I would see. Minimum. But here, where this yeah. is so well known, I would say many, many more than that. I think so. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, you know, we all know, we all know that this industry really hasn't got off the ground it's yet. Just to Once it does, out. then the fight will be even greater. Yeah. You know. So yeah. this is why. We True. Can, we can see what the way the things are going. If we have another five years of Tory government, we know exactly the direction things yeah. are going to go in. Yeah. You know. So I, well, I have this feeling that, you know, you do something, it, it adds to this sort of 
a morphic bank balance yeah i got you <laughs> of anti-fracking energy or yeah. anything energy yeah. you know yeah. and the more that that builds and the greater it becomes in the dare i say the collective consciousness and other people can feed off that it's like it feeds into the power and the energy of what's pushing it absolutely okay. yeah thanks very much yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The care and concern amongst activists never ceases to warm me, you know. And I think that was also for me, like when I first came into activism six years ago. What surprised me the most was how quick and easy it was to become so close to people you would never imagine having met in, in any other type walk or life, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. I find so much of this deeply emotional. <laughs> Well, it's deeply emotional. The reason I'm here is deeply emotional because I love the British countryside. I mean, I don't spend anything like enough time in it. Yeah. But I make time. If I'm driving home from a job, I'll go through country lanes and stuff like that. And the prospects of that, which is so precious, yeah. becoming decimated. Yeah, yeah. You know, what do you do for work? I'm a furniture maker. Right, yeah. You know. But, I mean, yesterday I was on a farm. And uh, in the morning, it's 11 o'clock thereabouts, before I came here, and... Um, the farmer there said, in his opinion, we have some of the finest soil in the world. Yeah. It's the well. one of the finest growing mediums in the world. Right. And we're prepared to play Russian roulette yeah. with that. Crazy, the short term, it? it is bonkers. Yeah. You know, and this is what we're really fighting. It's fighting insanity. Yeah. Insanity based on the whole principle of greed and profit. Yeah. You know, forget energy security. Yeah. Anyway, you've got me on a rant now, Tina. <laughs> Long time we've had a rant at three in the morning. But, uh, we'll go to a nice lunch bag for later. Fantastic. A couple of bottles of water and some fruit and sandwiches. Lovely. You stay safe, sweetheart. I'll be back and we'll do a few updates. Yeah. Nick Danby. How do you know who I am? <laughs> Your face is not in the light, though. Could you slightly angle yourself um, to make it more convenient that? for me? Is, is that better? <laughs> That'll do. Okay. We'll have your eyes, that's the main thing. What do you do for a living, or what did you do for a living? Uh, I was a civil servant. I'm not allowed to say any more than that, because I signed the official secret sector. Okay, so he's a super secret civil servant once upon a time. Once upon a time. And now you find yourself in what predicament, sweetheart? I find myself in a very unusual predicament. Uh, I seem to be lying on a road with my arm inside a tube. Locked on on to a man I've only just met. And have you done this before? I have not done this before. So why now? Why now? Right. Well, let me tell you why. I've, been, I've visited this site quite a few times, as you may or may not know. Uh, I walk up from Maple Farm. I see skylarks. I see kestrels. There was a barn owl over that hedge earlier yeah. this evening. All of that will be gone if Kudrilla have their way. Yeah. This site will become a, a dead zone for, um, f- from an ecological point of view. Yeah. Uh, and this will be the first. Do you want to close with her? This will be the first yeah. of. This will be the first of many dead zones. Um, so, um, my main motivation is I'm keen on animals and birds. Not very keen on human beings, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, but I do like animals and birds, and animals and birds and fracking don't go together, in my opinion. Yeah. Also, I'm very keen on democracy and justice and fairness. This is not democratic. Um, as I'm sure lots of other people will say, every level of government, local government, has said no to this. And much credit to Lancashire County Council. They said no after carefully considering the facts over a, over a long period. And uh, Quadrilla appealed, which of course they're entitled to do. And it appears to have started raining. Oh, good. Oh, dear, no. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I like a bit of rain. Um, oh, no, don't rain. That's cruel. Um, so where was I? Yes, so Lancashire County Council said no. Quadrilla appealed, and this government is absolutely determined to push fracking through at all costs. Chocolate cookies, sweetheart? Uh, no, I'm all right, thank you. Um, so it, they want it to happen, and at this particular site, it's a totally legal enterprise. They've, yeah. they, they, they've uh, had the green lights, they've jumped through all the hoops. They, this, is, this is a, a lawful business, uh, but it might be lawful, but it's not fair and it's not right. This government has signed the uh, International Treaty on Climate Change. And to me, having signed that, even talking about launching uh, a brand new fossil fuel industry is completely preposterous Absolutely. and completely inconsistent with having signed that, uh, that uh, treaty. There's no way we're going to meet our climate change targets if we go down this road. So on a personal level, though, when you had to prepare for today, because I know I, I feel challenged by the prospect. Right. How do you prepare? What do you feel like? Well, um, I, I took the view that uh, I've done lots of other things which I didn't feel particularly comfortable with, well outside my comfort zone. Okay. Uh, speaking at the public inquiry, didn't really want to do that, but yeah. I thought, why should I expect other people to do it if I'm not prepared to do it myself? True. I know some words. I can probably string them together and make some kind of sense, and I think I managed to do that. 
<laughs> Likewise, uh, I've written to everybody I could think of. Uh, I've written to companies saying, why the hell are you either supporting this or not condemning it? Yeah. Uh, I've written to my MP. Uh, he seems to have got fed up with me writing to him. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> um, really, this is, a, I hate to say it, but this is the last resort. We've tried everything else. Yeah. Um, I did not anticipate spending my retirement lying in road. Um, but uh, needs must, and I do take the view in life, you can't expect other people to do things if you're not prepared to do them yourself. I am prepared to do this and to face the consequences, whatever they may be. Possibly, uh, who knows, a slap on the wrist. So we'll have Good to wait. God, I don't know if we'll cope. Uh, I don't know which wrist they normally slap you on, but uh, I'm concerned. I don't think it'll be the right one at the moment. Uh, no, I don't think there'll be any slapping on my right wrist at the moment, no. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, we prepare, how do we prepare ourselves? Well, we know that we're going to have to put up with some discomfort. Other people have gone before, they've done it. If they yeah. can do it, I can do it. Thanks so much, Nick. You're I'll welcome. come back to you later on, darling. Okay. Right. Trust the chairs behind. You. Is it there? Yeah, yeah, it's there. Right. I'm in. I'll come I'm back going. once you're in. Hey, ladies. Nicely done with the umbrellas. That's almost forward planning, girls. Good morning. Strange time of the day to be seeing you laying here. Oh, can you go? Oh, there's a. That. Put your head just to the right because the your no the lamp post oh, is right it. behind that's you. It. You know what I mean? No, the other way. I know, I know you oh, want you me to want, do that, <laughs> but I actually want the light in your face ruining your life. Okay. Yeah. So, tell me who you are and why you're here. Okay, I'm Gina Dowding. <coughs> and people who don't know that name. I'm the, I'm a Lancashire County Council. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And I just want to say before I say anything else, I'm not here for the fun of it. No. Even though, I have to say, there's a really good atmosphere here. Yeah. But, um, it's a big step for a councillor. A big step. But it's necessary, I think, yeah. now, because we've tried everything we could um, through the democratic process. You know, it's not just that development control decision, and I think it's worth reminding people that that was cross-party people that rejected fracking yeah. in Lancashire. But there's been loads of debates at Lancashire County Council. You know, we have had motions about asking the government for anything to introduce industry-specific regulation, you know, blank result on that. Um, so there's been other debates as well. The industry, um, no, the government commissioned a report on the effect on rural communities. Yeah. And the government produced it redacted, so, you know, completely yeah. blanked out yeah. any useful information. You actually could hardly read it because so much of the information was blanked out. And we asked the government, can we actually have a proper report so we can see what's being said here? Nothing. So, you know, it's like there's, they're just ignored um, local people, yeah. and this is too big a risk. For, well, it's too big a risk for any community. Yeah. And why why Lancashire? It's been rejected across Europe. It's been rejected in New York State. Yeah. I think Ireland yeah. just rejected yeah, it. Yeah, Ireland just brilliantly rejected this week. it. So why Lancashire? Why have we got to take the risk with yeah. our health and our kids' health yeah. and our farming industry and yeah. food here? You know, it's just too much. Yeah. So You're getting lots of love. So you recently won your election. I did, yeah. Sorry, Bob, did you want to do something, love? Hello. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. It's under my thumb. Thank you. So, you recently ran your election for the Green Party and yeah, you were re elected as a councillor. And that was really good. And how I do you think those who voted. Majority. Yeah, so how do you think your voters will feel now they're looking at this? I mean, Caroline Lucas set the bar when she got arrested down in Balkan. Yeah. So, I mean, Green Party people do this. So, do you think it's okay for you? Yes, I do. I think, um, I mean, some people will probably think I'm a bit mad, but um, it's absolutely necessary. I mean, p people want to know the facts, and that's what we're not getting from yeah. the government. And they want voices to be heard, I think, more than anything. We don't want London and national government making decisions yeah. over local communities' health. Yeah. And I always so, thought yeah, that Northern I'm Powerhouse meant Northern Workhouse, that we'd be working to, to work for London that we'd be producing, you know, the toxins and the lousy jobs that would kill our kids, yeah. you know, so that they could get what they needed and it was a financial thing at our risk. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, how did you feel sorting yourself out? Because you cycled well, down. I've never done this sort of thing before, ever. And I was a little bit nervous. And I have to say, it's really well organised. And um, I'm really grateful for people who've organised this and yeah. made it possible. And people have been here day in, day out. Yeah. 
and they're the ones that really need the credit. Yeah. Um, and I just think Six it's a shame now, that the media, like the mainstream media, aren't picking up on this no. and aren't actually giving people more information just how risky a business it is. Yeah. And uh, once Quadrilla or any company get a foot in the door, um, yeah. you know, they, the way they're going to make their returns is by just drilling, drilling, drilling. Yeah. So we will be absolutely no doubt living in a gas field. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to stop it. Do you want water, sweetheart? At this water stage. coming, you want to mix up yeah. the aerolite? Like, like. No, I'm fine. Okay, all right. I'm conscious that I keep missing you out on every time someone comes to try and deliver you something I'm interviewing. I'm fine. Yeah, it's been quite amazing, the organisation. I've been involved in activism for six years, and, and you know, it's, it's not easy in a horizontal movement to make things happen sometimes. It's amazing. And you're disparate, different people from every walk of life. That is what's really interesting, is that um, I think there's a whole range of people. I mean, it's obviously difficult for people to look their best when they're lying flat on the forecourt of a fracking side. Yeah. But, you know, these are, these are a whole range of people. Yeah. I see such beauty everywhere I look at it. And yeah. really committed, and everyone gets on really well. And that's the thing. It's like once people find out about fracking, they know, and they know yeah. the risks, they want to do stuff. So, I mean, we've still got lots of people coming down here. But, uh, it's, I think it's the media have got to show a bit more interest yeah. in yeah. really what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And the risks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, any decent journalist work I thought would actually be investigating yeah. the reports from, and what's happening yeah. elsewhere. It's it's just an incredibly deafening silence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're just letting it ride. And you know, with the um, all the other political parties came out and said uh, we're against it except the Conservatives. I mean, the thing is, the Conservatives, and that hasn't been given much attention, the Conservatives in their manifesto said that they will nationalise the planning process so that in future planning applications won't stay at a local level anyway. So yeah. even though Lancashire, we had that ability to say no and examined all the evidence in Lancashire and the government overturned it, in future they're set, they will just make it and impose it on local people and then yeah. we won't even have that process to go through yeah. and to hear the evidence and how dangerous it is for water so do you feel like i do that if we fail here just coming across okay if we fail to stop it here then i think it opens floodgates to the entire country doesn't it the industry are gonna they want to drill everywhere there's no yeah. doubt about it because yeah. there's big money in yeah. it for them you want to say to them Sure. Wait. Row. I'll put that police van there so any cars coming down can see you. But could I ask you to try and stay out of the road as much as possible, please? Sure thing. Thank you. Yeah, OK, I will. <laughs> Nick, stop running around. Yeah, I just about got water. Well done, Nick. Cheers. That's a lot. You were supposed to be doing 20 miles per hour. I like that he even loosened the bottle top because he knows you've only got one hand. Aren't people clever? Like the things that you wouldn't think about. I think four people have come immediately. Are you comfortable? Have you got everything? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we came as welfare, but I think that you can't. You don't need welfare. Every single human here gives a damn that everyone's okay. Yeah. Right. I'll leave you for a bit, darling. Thank you. Thanks for being there, Judy. Morning, Barbara. You awake, love? Yeah, fine. Hiya, sweetheart. Ah. So, you're becoming a bit of a troublemaker, you. <laughs> oh, you've lost your umbrella. Hang okay. On. Let me get it for you. Fortunately, the rain seems to have stopped. Okay. Try and wash that on it. I'll only stay with you for a second. You don't seem to like I interview so much. So, you're okay? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. How's your daughter feel about you doing this? She's really pissed off with me. Is she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the hardest part I find in this, is family response. <laughs> and it's because I think they love us and they want us to keep us safe. Yeah. And we're in an unsafe place. Yeah, yeah. So why do you do it then? Because I want the mass extensions and Holocaust to happen after my children die. Yeah. We're on head of the climate disaster. I just want it to happen. Let me get your umbrella, love. <laughs> Sorry, love. I'll get to your face. That's right, I got it. I want it to happen as gently as possible. You what, love? I want it to happen as gently as possible. Yeah, yeah. And you've been here. When, you, when I met you in January, yeah. when we were here, had you done activism before? Yeah. You had what sort of activism? Uh, climate camp, G8s, 
um, the Hesketh Bank in 2011 we invited the pad that's right to highlight yeah. to do a publicity stunt Jesus it's raining right I'm gonna have to hold this live stream and restart it till I get somewhere dry 